So I have a piece of steel wool here soaking in some vinegar, and I want to let that um, let the vinegar kind of get rid of any of the other um, metals that might be on the steel wool or anything else that might be on the steel wool. So I'm going to go ahead and take the mass of the steel wool. And there is some vinegar on there, so I do know that I need to account for that. So the initial steel mass, or excuse me, the initial mass of the steel wool is 29.48 grams. So we're going to go ahead and allow, I'm going to place the steel wool in my Erlenmeyer flask. And place a balloon on top. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and let it just sit and see what happens when it's in the presence of air. So here we can see that the balloon actually deflated, it went inside of the um, Erlenmeyer flask. And that happened because the oxygen that was inside of the flask actually reacted with the steel wool. Um, and as you can see in there, we see some rust. So again, we have less oxygen in here, that's why the balloon went inside. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and take the mass of our steel wool. Now it's reacted with the oxygen. Now we do know that we did lose some of the vinegar earlier, so we have two or two point two seven grams that wasn't there before. And we can fish this out. Let's see. Again, put any of the vinegar in there. Um, we can see what the mass is afterwards. We also want to look at the. steel wool as well. If you notice, we actually see some more, um, or it looks like rust. It's actually iron oxide that has formed on the steel wool itself. So before it was shiny, and now we see that it's reacted with the oxygen, so we see that we have iron oxide forming. 